Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm in Del Rio at Amit Lake Amistad National Recreation Area, and I'm at Governor's Landing Campground. That's my Class C motorhome. There's no hookups here. It's, uh, for, it's $6 a day if you don't have the uh, senior pass and $3 a day if you do, and there's no hookups of any kind, no electric, no nothing. So, uh, but th you, you, this is a, there's a tent site there. You could put a tent there if you wanted to. But I want to show you something. Th this place, when I got here, well, I've been here two, two and a half hours, and it has gone from, well, it's full now. Unbelievable. This is, this is, this is a place which is normally, at this time of the year, uh, virtually empty. I mean, I've, I've come here several times. But look at this. Every site is taken. We're going to take a walk, check it out. They got that new pay station over there, too. You know, the one where you use the credit card. How you doing? And, uh, yeah, I won the barking dog lottery, too. This guy here has a barking dog. Which is, you know, hey, man, welcome to the world. If you can't stand the heat, damn sure don't go in the kitchen. Yeah, here he is right here. He was barking. God damn. What the hell is that? That's Billy. Yeah, he really is. What a wonderful animal. Wish they had two of them. One to stick up your... Anyway, welcome to the world of camping, guys. Welcome to RV living. Fortunately, I'll be here one night and be out of here. Have I ever run into that before? Oh, shit. I've had dogs run at me and try to bite me. And the owner says, oh, he won't bite you. I hear you. You know what? You know the drill. You've had it happen to you too. But yeah, the surprising thing to me was uh, to find this campground, Governor's Landing, at Amistad National Recreation Area, this crowded. No kidding. And and what's happened is, you know, a lot of these people are living full time on the road, and so they come here, and you can stay here for two weeks. And I'm not sure how closely this is monitored but some people will extend that stay if they can because you know hey man for three bucks a day if you're a senior citizen or six bucks bucks a day if you're uh, out here without that pass that's <laughs> still a hell of a deal you know six dollars a day 180 dollars a month uh, that's cheaper than rent at home i'm sure or, or rent anywhere and yeah they got garbage cans they got water available uh, there's no water hookup so i have actually seen people run uh, 100 foot hoses from that spigot to their campground. Mm hmm. Yep. But it's a beautiful day. Temperature is nice. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably going to get up to about 80, 82 degrees, which is fine. There's a guy got him some solar set up there, which is nice. Even has a little pool for his kids to swim in. Yep. Life goes on, guys. Yeah, if you think you're going to get away from the world out here camping, welcome. <laughs> you're not. No. Humanity is everywhere. Pretty much. Or insanity is everywhere. Uh, that's the vault toilet. And uh, there is another camp spot over here. I don't know why nobody ever takes this site, but rarely do I see anybody in it. The only thing I can think of is that it's uh, not level. The one there on the left there. Or... No, there is somebody there. I'm sorry. There is a tent there. I, I stand corrected. That's why there's nobody there, is because there's a tent there, Rusty. And it's beautiful. This is one of the clearest lakes, uh, clear water lakes, in the state of Texas. I think it's ranked number three. But it's the reason is this is limestone. The base of the lake is limestone, or all around it's limestone. And, uh, no, it's a beautiful place. I mean, this is, this is freaking awesome. I'm fixing to go back and read a book. You know, you got to entertain yourself when you're on the road. You know, wherever you are, you're there. You know, it's surprising, isn't it? So, you know, it's not like uh, all of a sudden, you know, you left your house and you were bored and you couldn't find anything to do at home. Well, if you get out here on the road and you've got that kind of attitude, you're not going to find anything to do out here either. You know, like I'm just taking a walk. I find that quite entertaining, actually. 
This is an interesting little RV here. This is a fiberglass unit, and I can't remember the name of it. It says SOL. Well, I guess that means, you know what I mean, SOL. I know what that means, uh, but I guess that's a SOL uh, unit. He's got him a weather system. A, I don't know what that other thing is up there. He's got a camera, security camera on him. Two security cameras on him. Three security cameras on him. Okay. And uh, it's a nice looking rig, though, I will say that. And that's a good spot right there. Why? Because you got a really private spot uh, to sit out and enjoy the, the lake. The sun sets behind me. Well, actually, let me show you. The sun sets uh, actually right over here, okay? And they've got a water spigot there for them. And I hope this external mic is working. Uh, it showed that it was. So apparently they've done an update and corrected that issue. But yeah, it's a pretty nice day. Uh, I'm glad I'm here as opposed to somewhere else. And as far as the dog, that's just the way it is, guys. I mean, you know, they could have parked anywhere. But, well, I think that was probably the only site available when they got here. And will that dog bark all night? No, he'll only bark when somebody walks by. Will that be often? Who knows? I mean, I'm up on the end. Maybe not too much, huh? But, uh, yeah, this is a, just a nice little walk around the park here and we'll walk back to my class c motorhome and i'll end the video but temperature wise is good a uh, light breeze out of uh, hmm, probably i'm thinking let's see so this is going to be west uh northwest maybe it's supposed to well it's kind of out of the west and a west wind as some of you know in the desert is a dry wind. That means the humidity is really low. And uh, whenever you're out here, if you're gonna go hiking or whatever, always take extra water. You never regret it. This is a pretty nice little setup here. And uh, <laughs> he's draining his gray out. See what you do, you get you a garden hose and hook it up there. They used to have, in fact, those covers used to come like that with a garden hose connection so you could drain your gray. And uh, actually, that's a good idea. I, I'm going to have to get one of those covers because it's better to do it that way. As long as you don't put a lot of uh, oily stuff and greasy stuff in the gray, probably not bad. There's a momentum. And uh, I can't see. They don't have a license plate anywhere. Oh, there it is on the bottom, but I can't tell what state it is. Looks like it's out of state, but I can't tell which state. Here's one here with no license plate. That's cute. Or I don't see it. There's Mr. Mr. Cool with his barking ass dog. Okay, it says the adventure begins on there. Wilderness. I don't see a license plate on there at all. Uh, he's not going to make it far in Texas like that. Mm-mm. They're not going to like that. Mm-mm. They're from Maine. Maybe in Maine you don't have to have... Uh, a license plate and then this guy's from Colorado so they're from all over man and that guy up there in that class C is from uh, Texas another barking ass dog that's wonderful <laughs> he's got two of them in the window mm -hmm. Well, it's a beautiful place, guys. Beautiful days, and you just have to use a lot of mental strength to overlook some of the bullshit. That's all I can tell you. It, it'll try your mind. But this is old Rusty right here. And I'll end the video right over here. The dog didn't bark that time, so apparently he's got control over it. And that's a good thing to know. So from here at uh, Amistad, National Recreation Area on a sunny day. 
in March, the Ides of March. Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and uh, get whatever you want. The downside of this place, this is Highway 90 right here. Going west, east and west. I mean, do you get some road noise in here? Oh, yeah. All night long. Is it bad? On a 0 to 10 scale, 10 being the worst. Zero, no, scratch, let's go the other way. 0 being the worst and 10 being the best, I'd give it a 4. It's pretty damn loud. So anyway, guys, keep your health. Enjoy your life. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Bye-bye.